Hey everyone, it's Noah Chang here. Today, I want to share with you a system that can work wonder for improve your intonation in just three days. Yes, you hear that right, three days. Can you imagine the progress you can make in such a short time? Now I'm Noah Chang, bring you the shortcut and hack to improve your violin technique in no time. Now, here are the three things that can mess up your pitch on the violin. First, is the destination between each finger on your left hand. Unlike the guitar, the violin doesn't have this handy mark on the fingerboard. So, it's easy to make a mistake if you are not familiar with the finger distance. Second, the distance between different positions are not the same. As you go up the fingerboard, notes get closer together. So, if you're not used to it, you might be loose when you reach different position. And the third one is, if you lost the first note when you do shifting, it's gonna throw off the rest of the following notes. It's like a domino effect. So, make sure the first note is accurate and stable during the shifting is another task. Now, let's talk about the mindset for effective violin practice. It's all about understanding how to tackle problem and maximize your efficiency. Here's the thing. Repetition is key when it comes to practice, but not just any repetition. It has to be done the right way. We want our body to understand and get used to the correct technique, finally reaching our goal. But check this out. Some violin player, they keep trying over and over until they finally get it right. We are talking like nine mistakes before they finally stumble upon that one correct attempt. It's like they're practicing how to make a mistake instead of actually improving. So here's what we need, an efficient practice approach that helps minimize those mistakes and keep everything simple to avoid messing up. This way, we save time, improve our technique, and reduce the chance of messing up during the important performance. Now, let's dive into some practical exercise to improve our intonation with finger pattern. In the first measure, we have four notes that correspond to finger one to finger four. Grab your tuner and check each note. Adjust your wrist and keep all your finger on the fingerboard in tune. It might take a bit of trail and arrow, but you'll get there. Hold this shape for a solid seven minutes. You can even pause this video and do something else like watching other video to relax. But here's the catch. If your left hand fingers start moving and wandering, go back to the tuner and find the correct spot again. We want them in the right place. After the seven minute exercise, you will feel your left hand settling into a certain shape. This shape will help you play in tune without spending time searching for the right spot. All right, let's keep going. Hold the finger pattern and play the second to fifth measure with your metronome. Each note gets four beats at a tempo of 60. Take your time and be patient. Practice all four lines in order. We are making progress. Keep repeating this exercise daily. You will develop your muscle memory easily. You will find those finger spots without relying on your ear. Remember, our goal is to build a solid left hand shape. 
Now, here's the deal. Get familiar with finger distance and shifting distance between each position require a bit more explanation. Those involve shifting technique and posture detail that needs to be covered. So, if you are eager to know more about it, drop the comment below. The more comment I receive, the more motivated to make video for you. Alright, don't forget to download the sheet music in the description below. If you have any question, don't hesitate to reach out and I will be sure to respond it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you soon.